y'all this is Stacy and I'm coming to you with a thrift haul I have been thrifting over the last three weeks and these are some of the goodies that I finally had time to come in and share with you all so let's start with the coat that I found at the Goodwill no I what, minute, what was this coat at I think this coat was Salvation Army yeah but this cute little coat is wool. It's a wool coat and it came from Old Navy. What I like, I love the color on it. And it's real short at the waist. It's like a teal like blue color. Um, just really cute. And it was $7.99 with half off the um because you know they were trying to put the spring stuff out, so it was half price, so it was four dollars. $7.99 half of that. So what's that? $3.99? Yeah, but this really cute jacket has two functioning pockets on it. I just love it for that little pop of color. Really, really cute old navy wool short to the waist jacket. Love it. I'm going to send this to the cleaners. And we're lucky to have a $1.98 cleaner. So everything you get dry cleaner is $1.98. Really cool. So really great find. I found a 100% silk scarf which I like to tie my hair down with so this scarf is really big and I, but I really do like the colors look at the colors through here it's like you have some gold some red some royal blue just some beautiful beautiful colors and this scarf was a dollar but I was looking at the tag and it says 100% silk so I was like <gasps> no satin I usually find satin scarves, but I finally found a six silk scarf to tie my hair down with. So I'm really, really excited. And I like how huge the scarf is. Sister got a big old head, so I be needing all the room. <laughs> Love it. One dollar. Okay. Check these out, y'all. This was $12 at the Goodwill. Yeah. Goodwill can be slightly pricey. I don't know if you can see that $12 little, you know, they like to write on their shit. I don't like them when they write on their stuff. I hate that, but they write on a lot of their stuff at the Goodwill, and at least at the, our Goodwills. But these are some Baker's Pumps, and I really, really like these. Real nice neutral color with the platform in the front. Really, really cute. Love it. And these were $12. They were anything off of that particular shoe. Twelve dollars. But I realized how much that shoe would have cost if had I bought it at the store. But I still think twelve dollars was too much for a dog on shoe at the Goodwill. But I digress. I ain't gonna get on from my little soapbox about how high the Goodwill is getting. But anyway, I did find these cute Chuck Taylors. I love Converse All Stars, as you can see, it has a good little sign on the back. But y'all know what All Stars look like. I I like them because they had that hot pink on them, as well as this particular color on there, which I love. I love Chuck Taylors. Let me tell you how I wear my Chucks. I will put on some Chucks, some wide leg jeans, or some wide leg slacks, a button down shirt. That is nice belt. Really cute, comfortable, comfortable, and very casual. I love, love, love. Chuck Taylor's and I try to every time I come across a pair I try to get them but I always wear these seem like with a wide leg pant but I did bring a shirt in here it's not from the Goodwill but I had a uh, Hollister shirt that was oh here it is right here I have a Hollister shirt that see that go perfect with some wide leg jeans but I prefer to have a button down shirt with the with my Chuck Taylor's and some wide leg slacks like some um, wide leg uh, khakis. I love wide leg pants and Chuck Taylor's for a really comfortable look. Really, really comfortable. And these, I'm sorry. These were, I think they were, here it is, $8. Goodwill. The house the shirt didn't come from the Goodwill. But I did get a pair of Gap slacks and they were 14 extra long. I'm kind of tall so don't you hate it when they write I hate Goodwill they're always writing on stuff but these are some um gap and they were six dollars nice flare leg I like the wideness of the um, pants it has a nice pocket on the back and they're real nice gray 
and these were six dollars I try to get it's not that I'm really really tall but for some reason if I get an average length length once I send them to the cleaners they kind of shrink up so I try to get a like a a tall length so that I could be able to <laughs> I could have a pad a little longer because I really really hate flooding unless I'm supposed to be I know y'all ain't heard that in a long time I know y'all ain't heard that but I found this really cute I love the gap so gap pants gap blue jean jacket love 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 collarless I love collarless jackets that's my style I love 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 and this jacket was six dollars as well really really cute and you know goodwill things because they have a little barb I don't know if you can see that they always have one of these little barbs on it or they'll write in it I can't stand it when they write it just write it in the inside pocket where you can't see I can't they, ugh, they just get on my nerve and I got this dress shirt with the little barb I think all dress shirts were like four dollars so I got this really nice color here I love this color really really nice that was four dollars I got this really nice one cute love it and I definitely needed this chocolate brown one really really needed this chocolate brown love it and I got a dark gray one and this one still has the tag on it and they were four dollars then I found this Levi jacket and this Levi jacket was eight dollars and see how they wrote on the daggone tag this Levi jacket was look at the detailing on the pocket this is really cute cute jacket I love denim jackets so and I try to get the ones that are very very stylish I don't want your tra traditional um just cheap looking jean jackets it has to have some kind of cute little details on it just really really cute and short I love that then I got this really cute yellow sweater I love this this is so cute really really cute I love this plain it's just a plain cable knit yellow sweater that I'm planning on either putting a um a collared shirt on up under or just a, a, a t-shirt just but I'm thinking it's going to be a collared shirt that I would have up under here and I think this was four dollars at the Goodwill then I got this really really cute jacket now I have at least three pair of khakis that's in this exact color of this jacket and what makes this jacket so cute to me not only is it because of the detail that's right here around these little uh, garments gavets that's right here really really pretty but I like the sleeve look at that and it has a little bow on the sleeve isn't that cute I love it collarless and I have like I say at least three or four pair of khaki bell bottom khakis that's this color so this jacket will be used because I really hate being cold when I go to the show or whatever <laughs> I just I love jackets so every time I'm at the um goodwill I'm either looking for jackets or blazers and all my blazers tend to stop right at the waist I don't buy them I don't really buy them if they're like the boyfriend kind that's like covering the hip I don't have any hips so I try to make sure that I keep my jackets right at the belt line that's just my style so and I got I think three pair of jeans I got three pair of jeans and they're the Massimo brand and these are the skinny leg really really cute and I believe that the jeans were six dollars six or four dollars I'm not sure but they're the skinny legs really really cute like I say Goodwill stuff always had a little barb on it and this brand is their Massimo Skinny Premium with your little barb, your little Goodwill barb. And these are the like ultra skinny leg. Really cute. I think it's got it's just got a plain pocket on the back of these. But you can't go wrong with you can never have too many skinnies. And I have like too many jeans, but 
if I see a nice pair at the Goodwill, sister gonna buy it. I just can't help it. And these are some really cute jeans that I got. And look at how skinny these ankles are. Ultra skinny. And these I think are the JC Penny brand, the Anna brand. But just really, really cute. I could not help it. I had to get those. And I got this really cute white blazer. I like this blazer because it stops right at the waist, just as I said. And I needed a white blazer for the summer and spring. Because I did have something to really work. I needed to rock this with this past summer. And I didn't, for the life of me, have a blazer. And this one stops right at the waist. And, and I believe it's brand new. Yeah, it is. It's brand new. And it's Worthington brand. has tag still on it. But I really, really like this white blazer. And it stops right at the waist. Nice and short. Like I like them. <sighs> I'm trying to move along, ladies. I'm trying not to make this video too long. Okay. Got another denim jacket. Look at the detail on this puppy. It has actual bugle beads and sequins on it. No collar. Chest like I like it. Has your little bugle beads. And the back has some funky little detail. Look at that. It has a cute little detail in the back. <sighs> With your little barb on it. This was $4. Really, really. Let me make sure. Cause they, no, they did write on this one. So this was $4. I think if, it, if they don't write on the tag, the jackets are $4. So, got that cute denim jacket. My dry cleaning bill is not going to be that bad. Especially since it's $2 a piece. $1.99 a piece. And I got two pair of white jeans. These jeans here are the little green barb on it. Goodwill barb. I like these jeans because they're skinnies as well, but they has the cargo pockets on the side. I could not leave this. And, and I just bought two pair from Sears. I think I did what about four or five months ago on a on a uh, haul, but that's alright. Can never have too many white first pants. So that's a nice pair. And I got another pair of white skinny jeans. A little Goodwill Barb. And this brand is by Divine Rights of Denim. I paid eight bucks for these. Now I believe they sell this brand at Forever 21. I think they sell this brand at Forever 21. Yeah, because when I did a Google search on them to make sure that I wasn't paying too much for the jeans to see how much it would cost. Some things, if you you know, if it's, if it's a, a premium jean, I like to know exactly what I'm buying. Now, that jean is so super doggone tight. Sister going to have to lose at least five pounds for me to be comfortable. I was able to zip them up. I'm going to stretch them boogers. That's all. I'm going to mold them to me. <laughs> Okay, my last item that I got for me is this really cute, I don't know if you can see the colors of it, it's really cute, it's a Gap sweater, really, really, really cute, it's like a real pretty army green with gray stripes, I love this sweater, really, really cute, it's wool, <coughs> oh, excuse me, it's wool and cotton, and this is a really pretty color, I love army green and gray, so this Gap sweater was a really good buy, and I believe the sweaters were four dollars if it's not rolled on. Then I went over to the pajama section and I found some pajama jams for the grandbabies. I love pajamas, so I got my little girls some um pajamas. Now, don't ask me who these people is, I don't know what the cartoon character is, some type of Disney character, I don't even know. Bad granny. I can't help it. I'm here the bottoms to it. So that was one set I got from a girl. And then I got this really cute gown for my um little grand girls. They so cute. I just love little little pajamas. Every time I go, if I find some pajamas, I just collect pajamas because I got so many granddaughters now. It's just unreal so every time I uh, find a set of pajamas I'm always get them because they're always here so they always have pajamas when they're here because granny be on top of that jam jam game <laughs> I make sure my baby's got plenty of pajamas so that is it for my little goodwill haul y'all 
I oh wait a minute and I did get these little cups now I have a little plan it's like some little silicone cups real flexible and these were four for a dollar I got these for a reason now I'm not sure if it's going to work but I'm going to definitely try I know it's going to work because it's as simple as melting it down and pouring it in a mold but what I'm going to do it doesn't I'm not going to do a video on it because you could just do a Google search on it and you can do it yourself. But what I'm going to try to make with these is some lotion bars. You know how you just melt down your cocoa butter and you put your little yummy uh, different things in it like whatever scent that you want to. I'm going to melt down some cocoa butter, maybe a little bit of mango butter, uh, a little bit of shea butter, some uh, little bit of tea tree oil in there. I'm going to put some vitamin E in there. Different other little goodies I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna pour it in a mold. But I'm gonna have to make sure I don't put too much of uh, uh, things that's not gonna stay hard. And I know the cocoa butter will stay hard. So um, just to make a little mold, and then once it's dry, you know, once it hardens, you just pop it out. It's easy, and then you have this cute little shape. I don't know if you can see. You have this cute little shape, and then you just, you know, put your little saran wrap on it, put a little tie on it, so you could give it away as little gifts or whatever. Because I'm thinking about making my um. My daughter and my uh, daughter-in-law, a cute little um, basket with some homemade treats that I want to, um, because I've been watching plenty of YouTube videos. You know, you you ladies are so freaking inventive. You all come up with all sorts of uh, different ways to make your um, your bath salts and all different kinds of things. And um, I've been watching the videos and how they just put a you know, get your blast salt and all your sugar scrubs. You know, there's so many videos on YouTube on how to do all those different things. And, and when it's personalized, it's just really cute. So, this is what I'm going to use to try to make a lotion bar. I'm going to try it out, see if it works. But, if not, I'm going to keep on watching videos until I get it down. But, um, before three, four, four, four a dollar, you can't beat that. Especially when all you got to do is just pop it out. Pow. So, that's my video, guys. I'll see you ladies later. Bye.